hi guys i welcome you in this wonderful video so there is something that i want to share with you when it comes to analyzing uh using price action and trend lines so as you can see this market here it is moving up we can see it's an uptrend now what uh traders will usually do and what i also used to do is that okay we'll spot the flow of the trend and then we'll begin to uh drop our trend lines there and then wait uh for the trend line to be touched and then when the market shifts in terms of its flow or in terms of um the trend line strength we will again uh draw our new trend lines to uh suit the present or the current flow of the market so when we draw these trend lines we actually uh depend on them when it comes to finding another opportunity or another entry position né? which is something very very wrong and which is something that is limiting né? when you draw trend lines as a trader you need to know that they are not there to actually point where you should enter because if you interpret them in that way you will then begin to move your eyes away from strength you'll move your eyes away from volume and you'll treat the market as something that reacts from uh lines or from uh geometric patterns which is something that is wrong but what you have to do as a trader you need to observe the waves of the market and how they are changing in terms of their flow in that way your entry will not depend on trend lines i'm just gonna illustrate uh to you shortly your entries will not depend on trend lines meaning the opportunities which trend lines cannot give you this technique can give you or this technique will give you those opportunities what are those opportunities that i'm talking about so here as you can see uh let me remove our second trend line as you can see here we, you had the initial trend line let's say firstly you identify uh these touches and uh this next one and then let's say in this uh next touch you were, you were able to enter you were able to execute your trade you know? and then the question is how are you going to be able to detect this next entry here around here because now the price reversed away from your trend line you know? so the only way maybe to identify this as a trader it is when your analysis doesn't rely on trend lines only meaning you observe a lot of things when it comes to entering not only your trend lines so what are those lot of things that i'm talking about firstly uh before i cover the flow or before i cover the the waves i will uh obviously highlight uh support and resistance maybe let's say you identify support and resistance and maybe through support and resistance you were able to uh you could be able to detect this entry né? however it's not enough as well there are other scenarios where price will not bounce on your support or on your resistance it will just reverse on no man's land né? so what should you do in those cases or how should you find opportunities in those uh kind of behaviors what you need to do as a trader is that immediately when the market starts to give you a wave or some kind of a flow for an example in this case with this uh impulsive move going up né? so we have this wave going up it started all the way down here it moved all the way up there né? so your role as a trader it is to pay attention into how this individual wave behave in terms of how it's flowing and how it's uh, changing its strength as it moves up and you can observe that this wave uh, started a little bit slow in a transition here and then it began to give you some small waves in between and we can see here that's when now the small waves began to shift and favor the sellers because now they're forming some minor lower highs and lower lows so then you knew that in this uh price or in this position you knew that okay now it's a corrective wave going down and then this is the wave that the really matters or that that is very very important because that's the wave that you're gonna enter from because keeping it keeping it in mind that it's an uptrend we will be entering from this corrective wave which is uh controlled by the seller so that's the wave that you should pay much attention into what's the attention that you should give into this wave it is focusing on the 
minor highs and lows here which um which made up this wave and then these smaller highs and lows they are gonna tell you when the market is gonna go up because the way they are flowing is gonna change so immediately when the the, the, the change arrives that's when you will know that i have to enter even if the price didn't touch your trend line now for an example here we can see with this low with this high with another low and we can already see that through this low it is uh close to that previous one now, and then the market started to go up and as it went up it broke the flow meaning it broke this uh supporting uh or resisting trend line if i may say so it broke it meaning this breakout here it was a confirmation that oh the market has went out of its corrective flow meaning it can be a signal an indicator that okay now the impulsive wave is is getting uh started then that's where you can take uh your opportunities from or that's where you can open your positions from then same thing applies here you identify how the corrective wave flows now in this particular case we don't have much of um waves in the corrective wave we just have this uh area here of transition and then the markets went down aggressively it started moving up and and then it gave you something which is small a very very small low remember on waves you focus on those on these minor patterns however the best uh thing or the best way to identify them it is obviously to go to a very very smaller time frame to identify them then so here we can identify this smaller support here and we can see that it's higher than that previous one and then from here you might know that okay it's likely that okay now the market is going up because it gave me this low which is higher than that previous one meaning it it, it 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 is a sign or it can be a sign that this corrective wave here is over or the sellers here have been again defeated as it is an uptrend and then the market is gonna move up and then that's where you're gonna be taking your entries somewhere around here once you identify that smaller low so the main thing that i'm trying to emphasize here is that you as a trader uh don't rely only on trend lines but what you have to do is that once you see the corrective coming in try to identify or try to understand how the corrective wave is flowing and then once this flow is broken towards the the the, the buyer side that's when you have to take your end opportunities and then obviously you can combine with things like um support and resistance but what i'm trying to uh, to uh rebuke here it is relying solely on trend lines now, don't only rely on trend line that's the most risky thing that you can ever do as a price action trader but i encourage that you use your trend lines and then add uh these two methods that i just uh preached to you in this video add those patterns it is very very important them alone they are very very powerful so but uh we cannot neglect uh support and resistance as well so make sure that you add in your trend line trading don't just rely only on trends you're not gonna make any return so i'm just gonna keep it short thank you guys for watching